Well, welcome to the old classic car channel. In this collection, we're looking at classic VWs, so Volkswagens of the 1950s through to about the 1980s, early 1980s, somewhere like that. We begin with USL 143. Uh, this particular VW Beetle turned up at a classic car meeting um, just a few months ago. Very, very original car, original paint, so I had quite a chat with the owner. This one dates to 1960. I think it was brought in from Sweden. Next up to another classic car show, this was at Capesthorn Hall in Cheshire, and we've got a convertible version of the Carmen Gear. Very smart it is too. The first of several VW Golf GTI Mark 1s to feature in this particular video. Here we've got a Shropshire registered car, wire registrations, that puts it late 82 or early 1983. Very smart indeed. First of the split window VWs to feature here, BVG 207E, dates to 1967. The T25 now, B167XRJ. Um, these had various names, Type 25, T3, or Caravel. I think there were the T25 in this country. It's an ex-fire department vehicle by the look of the sign writing on there and a VW Corrado Coupe of the 1990s is next. There's that uh, fire vehicle just in the background and the Mark II Golf alongside that and an early T25 just peeking in on the left in the background. Now, a VW Beetle Herbie replica. There had to be one of those in here somewhere. Now, I checked up this registration number and this is actually now on a 1998 Nissan, so I'm assuming this car is still around but probably been re-registered now. Let me know if you know anything of it. Next up, rear view of two VW Jettas. This was the uh, four-door equivalent, really, of the, the contemporary VW Golf hatchbacks. KMB 535C, that's a 1965 six-volt slopey headlamp VW Beetle, slightly lowered, looks great. B11SDP is a Mark II big bumper Golf GTI Mark II. Staying with VW Golf, so we've got another Mark I here, BFA 619T. This is a Mark I GTI put on the road in this country in September of 1978. And this was spotted in the auction area at the Practical Classics Restoration Show 2022. BB03 Bug is a Mexican built VW Beetle. This one sold for 18,000. Um, it was built in 2003, so it's quite a late car, really. Next up, a van version, a panel van version of the Splitty. Um, really nice turned out example here. Full length sunroof on it as well. Uh, very, very nice. There's a G Wagon alongside it. I do like this, and the colour's really suited, I think. This dates to 1964, and it's a notchback, the VW 1500. Again, rear engine with a boot in the front and various items of period literature in the front there. You can just about see. Back to the NEC, and we've got two VW Sirocco's. The nearest is a Mark I, a Sirocco GLI, with a later Mark II alongside it. You can really compare the differences in the style in there. And a bay window camper now, TDO 984K from, well, late 1971, early 1972, somewhere around there. That's a VW Golf, and we've got an X-Reg Mark I Golf GTI here now. I like the kit on the dashboard. Uh, very, very period. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of these old VWs. I know they've I mean, got a huge following, so uh, let me know your thoughts. Here is a very sad left-hand drive VW Beetle we spotted in the Portuguese scrapyard some years ago. Surprising amount of rust really on the roof given the dry climate, but I don't think this one was going anywhere again, unless you know different of course. Now we have a very tidy five-door late 1980s Golf GTI Mark II. The Rat Rod Look VW Beetle here, 502 XVT. This Beetle dates to 1959, 1200cc car, another period roof rack. They seem very popular in the VW world. Back to Corrado's, we've got an L Reg VR6 Coupe here now. A 
little while ago we spotted this split window Volkswagen uh, it's been converted into a mobile catering van very smart it is too very bright we now we have a fixed head Carmen gear we've had the convertible version of Cabriolet this is the fixed head Carmen gear this one HGC 621J uh, was registered late 70 early 71 now to Alton Park and a VW Beetle racing car or well, at least a car with a VW Beetle silhouette I'm not quite sure how much Volkswagen is actually in there but it certainly looked the part now, several uh, VWs that I wanted to feature in this video I didn't have photos for, so I've had to rely on period press photos, and that's the case with the K70 here. This was a, an NSU design, um, but it was actually put into production by VW between 1970 and 75. Here, a rear view of an oval window beetle, at NFO 554. This particular car dates to 1957. I do like the period mud flaps on the back and under the roof rack. This smart machine turned up last year, BLM 144B, is a 1964 Type 34 or Razor Edge Carmen gear. That's a very, very stylish little car, I think. Back to Golfs, we've got an X registration car here, much modified Mark 1 Golf GTI. Apparently it puts out 246 brake horsepower from a 1.8 turbo 20 valve engine. Still at the NEC, the classic car show there, CAB 619W is a 1980 Mark I Sirocco. Another Beetle wearing its years on its paintwork, 368XVN. This one dates to January of 1959. No roof rack on this one. Now, SCK 208K, a VW thing. Um, these were originally developed, I think, for the West German Army. It was sold here, in the UK at least, as the Type 182 Trekker. But it was known as a thing elsewhere, I believe. Another bay window camper here from 71-72. A lowered splitty alongside that, and a beetle behind it. Back to Portugal again in the head-on view of a very sorry looking uh, six volt beetle. I'm guessing that's fairly unusual having a sliding steel sunroof. I'm assuming that's a factory option. Let me know if it isn't, but uh, yeah, very sad. Bit of a project here, looks very original, original paint, a Carmen Gear Coupe. Right, now here we have, I think this is an early T25 in the livery of Porsche. Um, if, uh, if I'm getting any of these identifications wrong, please let me know in the comments, but I think that's an early T25. A lineup of classic VWs here, this was at Western Park. We've got Cabriolet versions of the Golf and a very original Mark 1 five door in the middle there. I'll have a closer look at that a little bit later in this collection. Back to the NEC and now a Mark II version of the Sirocco Coupe. Quite a smart looking car, but do you prefer this one or the Mark I that we saw before? I think the jury's still out for me on that one. Now another period press photo because I didn't have a photo to hand. This is the VW Santana of the early 1980s. If you've any experience of owning any of the cars that are featured here, by all means chip in with your comments below the video. Now, the Hero Challenge Rally, I did a video about this a little while ago, and taking part was this Mark 1 Golf GTI three-door car. Sounded very good. In the barn find area at one of the Practical Classics uh, restoration shows, I spotted this black Mark 1 GTI. It's a V-Reg car, so that puts it at late 79 or early 1980. Now this strange looking machine was spotted at the Chumley Pageant of Power quite a few years ago. And the Border Reavers VW and powering this is a V8 Chevrolet engine. So I'm guessing it's quite leery. Got another thing here or a Trekker. KKH424P from 75 or early 1976. A 
to a museum in Portugal. We found this original Kubelwagen. I think this one dates to 1943. Still plenty of classic VWs to come. Here we've got a slightly modified four-door Jetta H-Reg. So what's that? Um, I think that's about 1991, somewhere around there. A split in the background and a bay to the left of that. And a glorious white car here. This is a Type 3, a square back or the estate dating to the early 1970s. There's an Opel GT alongside it. Both pretty rare cars now. And it has a roof rack. A pair of VW split is here. We've got a camper in the foreground and a very neat panel van in the background in the livery of a Porsche dealer. Back to the NEC, we've got quite a gathering here of Volkswagens uh, in the foreground. There's a uh, Sirocco, of course. There's a Mark One Sirocco just peeking in on the left, on the right there. Uh, B Reg Sirocco Mark Two. Here, a V Reg Golf GTI Mark One. I do like the wheels and the early GTIs and the early Golfs. In fact, had those smaller back lights, which makes that one quite a rare survivor now. This turned up at an evening meeting. It's another example of the uh, Corrado Coupe. Have you ever had one of those? Quite a rare Citroen AX alongside it, actually. Very neat modified Beetle here. I do like those wide wheels on the back. Fire department vehicle, this time a split window, 502 UXL. Great original sign writing there on the door. This was at Western Park, classic car show quite a few years ago. And at Western Park this year, we spotted this fantastic H registration uh, beetle, complete with roof rack. There's an interesting bay window, T-Reg, from about 1978-79, the bay window. This was originally converted to run on electricity. It was a US conversion, I think they did several vehicles, but now it's back running a petrol engine, but it's maintained all the old livery. Here's a rare vehicle, this was spotted in Portugal, but I believe this is a Brazilian spec variant based on the Type 3. Uh, I think this is a variant 2, which was built from 1977 to 1978 only. I think I've got that right. Next up, a rally prepared VW Beetle here, J-Reg, 1970 car. You give him some welly on the, I think this was on the tour of Cheshire. Still plenty of old VWs to come, and here we've got a lowered, but otherwise very original looking three-door Mark I VW Golf. was definitely the tour of Cheshire, you can see the sticker on the bonnet, 2022, and we have a Mark II Golf GTI circa 1985 taking part. There is a separate video on the channel all about that event. Next up to Smallwood, um, this was last year, 2021, and two examples of the bay window campus, slightly early one on the left. Note the different indicators and the little grill is slightly different as well, the badge is different. To Alton Park and we've got the Hero Challenge Rally passing through and we've got a B-Reg, so 1984 Mark II VW Golf GTI. And the classic Beetle, somewhat lowered, 1966. And TTU 399 that's a Cheshire registered Type 3 or the square back estate, complete with a period sun visor. Got an aerial on the front wing there. I'm guessing there's tunes to be had inside there. There's a bay alongside it and a splitty behind. Another Mark 1 Golf GTI here. This one is S Reg. Puts it at about, what, 70, 77, 78, somewhere around there. Now, Polo, we had to have one of those, and this turned up at a local event a few years ago, VRR971S, so it's a 1977 VW Polo three-door coupe. You don't see too many of those around, plenty of golfs, but not so many Polos. Here, a six-volt Beetle rally car. 
This one dates to um, January 59. It's got a 1600cc engine, I believe. FCD 11D is a 1966 split window camper. And there's another VW Polo, and this is an L Rage example. We spotted this in Northwich just a few weeks ago, so I thought I'd grab a quick snap of that. Looks very original, slightly faded paint on top of the wings, but great to see it's still in use. Couple of curios here, we've got the VW Beetle in the foreground and the oddball Saab 95 alongside it. The Beetle dates to 1966. At the same event, I believe, we've got another Mark 1 Golf GTI, a wire edge car from 1982. That's in pursuit of a very standard looking VW Beetle of the early 1970s. Rat look uh, split window pickup truck, very rare. Still got the old German sign writing on the doors in the front there. 843 YUT. That one dates to February of 1961. Oh dear, just a few miles away from where we live, I found this oval window beetle rotting away in someone's garden. Whether it's still there or not, I don't know. I keep meaning to go and have another look. It looks like someone started to take some tin snips to that rear window panel. And staying with rear views of VW Beetles, we've got a Carmen converted VW Beetle here from 71, 72 or thereabouts. You can always tell the proper Carmen convertibles by the squared off quarter lights and the properly framed windows there. GKW783N, this is the Type 4 of the VW 411. This one with the 1800cc engine dates to January of 1975. Quite a rare sight now. Just a quick close up there of a couple of badges on the front of a Beetle. ADAC is the sort of German um, breakdown organization, if you like. And then we've got a, a really attractive uh, badge on the side there for a rally that took place. Next up, UTU 434J. That's a December 1970, 1600cc VW Beetle, of course. A couple of nice badges on there as well. I'm not sure what the one on the left is. You've got the Institute of Advanced Motorists on the right. And a side view now of a split screen van. Just a few more classic VWs to go. Like I say, if you've got any comments about the vehicles featured in this video, please uh, pop a note in the comments and just say hello. That'd be great. Now we've got a TDI or diesel version of a VW Corrado Coupe. A couple of classic VWs. We've got a sp uh, splitty pickup in the background there. In the foreground, the 6 volt Beetle with some very strange headlamp covers uh, and looking somewhat lower than standard. There's that 5 door Mark 1 Golf that we saw in one of the photos earlier on. There's a rear 3 quarter view of it, like that period rear window louver, blind in the back. It's also got a tow bar and a little clip on picnic tray inside the passenger door there, just at the bottom of the window. And another period press photo now, this is the mid 1970s Passat LS of information there, middle of the range version of Volkswagen stylish medium sized saloon. Perhaps you can tell me what this particular car is, obviously it's VW based but I'm not quite sure what it is so uh, please let me know. And that interesting little curiosity rounds out this collection of 80 photographs featuring classic VWs, Volkswagens of the 1950s through to the 1990s, 1980s, that type of era. Thanks very much for watching, there's plenty more videos on the channel and there'll be more coming along very soon, so uh, bye for now.